Get ready folks because this winter is shaping up to be anything but ordinary. With the arrival of El Nino, we are in for a season full of surprises and dramatic weather shifts. Whether you love the cold or prefer milder temperatures, this winter will have something for everyone. El Nino has officially arrived and it's bringing its own brand of weather drama to the northern hemisphere. This climate phenomenon, characterized by the warming of ocean waters in the central and eastern Pacific, has far-reaching effects that can alter weather patterns across the globe. From increased rainfall in some areas to droughts in others, El Nino's impact is both varied and significant. We're talking about a powerful climate pattern that can shake things up from coast to coast and across the globe. The effects of El Nino are not limited to just one region, they ripple outwards, influencing weather systems in ways that can be both predictable and unexpected. Coastal areas might experience more intense storms, while inland regions could see unusual temperature fluctuations. So, buckle up as we dive into the long-range forecast and see what Mother Nature has in store for us. Our team of meteorologists is closely monitoring the situation, using the latest technology and models to predict how El Nino will shape our winter. From snowstorms to sunny days, we'll cover it all to keep you informed and prepared. This winter El Nino's influence will be felt far and wide, bringing warmer than average temperatures to some regions and a deep freeze to others. In the southern parts of the United States, for example, we might see milder conditions, while the northern states could be in for some harsh, cold weather. It's a season of contrasts, where one day could be drastically different from the next, Precipitation patterns will also be affected with some areas bracing for heavy snowfall while others face drier conditions. The Pacific Northwest might see an increase in rain and snow, while the Southwest could experience drier than normal conditions. This variability makes it crucial to stay updated with local forecasts and be prepared for sudden changes. It's a complex weather puzzle, but we're here to break it down for you. Our goal is to make sense of these patterns and provide you with the information you need to navigate this unpredictable season. Whether you're planning a winter getaway or just trying to get through your daily commute, understanding the impact of El Nino will help you stay one step ahead. So stay tuned, stay informed, and get ready for a winter like no other. El Nino, Spanish for the little boy, is a climate pattern characterized by unusually warm water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. This phenomenon occurs irregularly, typically every two to seven years and can last for several months. The warming of the ocean surface can have profound effects on the atmosphere, leading to significant changes in weather patterns across the globe. This warming disrupts normal weather patterns around the globe. The changes can be dramatic, affecting everything from rainfall to temperature, and even influencing the frequency and intensity of storms. The impact of El Nino is felt far beyond the Pacific Ocean, reaching continents and countries thousands of miles away. Think of it as a domino effect, with changes in one part of the world triggering a cascade of effects elsewhere. For instance, a shift in ocean temperatures can alter wind patterns, which in turn can affect weather systems over land. This interconnectedness means that a single event in the Pacific can have ripple effects that are felt globally. One of El Nino's most significant impacts is on temperature. The warming of the ocean surface can lead to higher air temperatures, which can exacerbate heat waves and contribute to longer, hotter summers in some regions. It typically brings warmer-than-average winters to the northern United States and Canada. This can result in reduced snowfall which can have downstream effects on water supplies and ecosystems that rely on snowmelt. While parts of the southern U.S. may experience cooler and wetter conditions, increased rainfall can lead to flooding which can impact agriculture, infrastructure, and communities. Across the Atlantic, Europe often sees milder winters, particularly in the central and southern regions. This can affect energy consumption, as milder temperatures reduce the need for heating, but it can also disrupt natural cycles and habitats. In Asia, El Nino can lead to colder temperatures in the north and warmer temperatures in the south. This can have significant impacts on agriculture, as crops may be affected by the unseasonal temperatures, leading to potential food shortages and economic challenges. In Australia, El Nino is often associated with drought conditions, which can lead to water shortages and increased risk of wildfires. Conversely, in South America, particularly in countries like Peru and Ecuador, El Nino can bring heavy rainfall and flooding, causing damage to infrastructure and affecting livelihoods. The effects of El Nino are not limited to land, marine ecosystems can also be significantly impacted. Warmer ocean temperatures can lead to coral bleaching, which affects biodiversity and the health of marine life. 
fisheries can also be disrupted, affecting food supplies and economies dependent on fishing. Scientists continue to study El Nino to better understand its causes and effects. Advances in climate modeling and satellite technology have improved our ability to predict El Nino events, allowing for better preparation and response. However, the complexity of the climate system means that there is still much to learn. Understanding El Nino is crucial for building resilience to its impacts. By anticipating changes in weather patterns, communities can take steps to mitigate risks, protect infrastructure, and ensure that they are better prepared for the challenges that El Nino can bring. For those of you in North America, get ready for a winter of contrasts. El Nino is expected to bring warmer than average temperatures to the northern tier of the continent, from the Pacific Northwest to the Northeast. So, if you're a fan of mild winters, you're in luck. However, folks in the southern U.S. might want to stock up on extra blankets. El Nino often brings cooler and wetter conditions to this region, especially across the Gulf Coast and into Florida. And for our friends in the Rockies, get ready for some epic powder days. El Nino typically means above average snowfall for the mountains, which is great news for skiers and snowboarders. Across the pond, Europe is also in for an interesting winter. El Nino typically brings milder temperatures to Central and Southern Europe, so those dreaming of a white Christmas might be disappointed. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. Northern Europe, particularly Scandinavia, could see increased precipitation, potentially leading to heavier snowfall in some areas. Meanwhile, Southern Europe, already grappling with drought conditions, might experience even drier weather this winter. So, while El Nino might bring some relief from the cold in parts of Europe, it's essential to stay prepared for potential weather extremes. Section 5. Winter's Grip on Asia Heading over to Asia, we see El Nino's influence playing out in different ways. Northern Asia, including Siberia and parts of China, is likely to experience colder-than-average temperatures. So, bundle up if you're planning any winter adventures in this region. On the flip side, Southeast Asia, including Indonesia and the Philippines, could see warmer and drier conditions. And for our friends in Japan, get ready for some serious snow. El Nino often brings heavy snowfall to the Japanese Alps, creating a winter wonderland for skiers and snowboarders. Section 6 global snowfall and precipitation, a mixed bag. This section delves into the intricate and often unpredictable nature of global snowfall and precipitation patterns, especially under the influence of El Nino. When it comes to snowfall and precipitation, El Nino's influence is anything but predictable. This weather phenomenon can lead to a wide range of outcomes, making it a challenge for meteorologists to forecast accurately. Some regions can expect above average snowfall, which can bring both beauty and challenges. Heavy snow can transform landscapes into winter wonderlands, but it also poses risks such as transportation disruptions and increased heating costs, while others face drier conditions. These areas might experience droughts which can have severe impacts on agriculture, water supply, and overall ecosystem health. It's all about how El Nino interacts with other weather patterns, creating a complex and ever-changing picture. The interplay between El Nino and local climatic conditions can result in a mosaic of weather outcomes, each unique to its region. In North America we've already mentioned the potential for heavy snowfall in the Rockies. This could be a boon for ski resorts and winter sports enthusiasts, but it also means increased avalanche risks and potential strain on infrastructure. However, other parts of the continent, such as the Midwest and Northeast, could see less snow than usual. This might lead to milder winters, which can affect everything from heating bills to winter tourism. Across the Atlantic, Northern Europe might experience heavier snowfall, particularly in Scandinavian regions. This could enhance the picturesque winter scenes but also bring challenges like road closures and increased demand for snow removal services. While Southern Europe grapples with drier conditions, countries around the Mediterranean may face water shortages, impacting agriculture and daily life. The dry conditions can also increase the risk of wildfires. And in Asia, Japan is bracing for a snowy winter, which could be both a blessing and a curse. While it may boost winter tourism and provide ample water supply when the snow melts, it also means dealing with the challenges of heavy snow accumulation. While Southeast Asia could see less rainfall than usual, this region already prone to dry spells might face exacerbated drought conditions, affecting agriculture, water resources, and overall livelihoods. 
the variability in weather patterns underscores the importance of preparedness and adaptability in the face of changing climatic conditions. Section 7. Bracing for Extreme Weather While El Nino can bring some predictable weather patterns, it's essential to remember that extreme weather events can and do occur. Heavy snowstorms, prolonged cold snaps, and even flooding are all possibilities during an El Nino winter. It's crucial to stay informed about weather forecasts and warnings in your area. Be prepared for power outages, transportation disruptions, and other potential impacts of extreme weather. And remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Section 8. Staying informed and prepared. As we head into this El Nino winter, the most important thing is to stay informed and prepared. Keep an eye on your local weather forecasts, and be aware of any watches or warnings issued by your National Meteorological Service. Have a plan in place for extreme weather events including knowing where you'll go and what you'll need if you need to evacuate. Stock up on essential supplies like food, water and warm clothing. And remember, we're all in this together. Let's look out for one another and help each other stay safe and warm this winter.